Good morning and welcome to my channel. This is Marianne from Marianne's Creative Space and I'm coming to you today with a floss tube to show what I've been working on in the last week. Um, today is the 24th of April. It is a beautiful autumn day here in southeastern Victoria, Australia and I think it's going to be a top of about 24 that's Celsius, so gorgeous sunny day, what I like. So the first thing I'm going to show you is this one. Now, if you saw my stitch with me, I was working on her face. Um, I, I have continued working on her face because she looked like a zombie without her eyes filled in more and everything else. So I wanted to see what she looked like. She looks so creepy. So I worked on this one uh, Friday, a little bit on Saturday and a little bit last night. So yeah, so I'm happy with how she's turning out. So yeah, that's that one. The next one is... my Santa. I don't I, I forgot to get the picture for the first one. That's what it's going to look like when it's finished. This is where I'm I'm up to. I did fill in, started filling in his face as well. So next time this one comes out, I'll continue working on his face. So yeah, this is. So yeah, I did work to you know, this bit and whoops. <sighs> yeah, so his face is looking really good. The next one was used up and it was it's bell. So yeah, that's what she's going to look like when she's finished and I brought on her face as well and that's where I am with her and her eyes are looking really good so next time she comes out I'll complete her face as well work, continue working on her face and, yeah. so I'm happy with that one next one I worked on is her cousin, Belle's cousin, Cinderella, same kind of design, these Disney pin-up girls, they're gorgeous. And I too worked on her face. And that is what she is looking like. Her face turning out really pretty. So yeah. Ne again, same as the others. Next time this one comes out, I'll continue working on her face. Next one I worked on is 
I call stained glass Cinderella. This is what she's going to look like when she's finished. Another gorgeous design. And again, I'm working in her face. Art threads are there from when I was working up in the corner. But yeah, this is what her face is looking like. Very pretty. So yeah, again when I've finished and this one comes out, I'll be working on her face again. Next one I worked on is this one, like a, for, a cottage in a forest. And where did I work, work on? Oh yeah, I continued the tree, filling in this tree section. So. I am, I think with this one I'll just fill in each hundred square across and take the colours where they go and go across this way. So yeah, I'm really happy with how this one is turning out as well. And my final one I worked on, I'm very disappointed. Very disappointed um, and I'll show you why it's this one it's the Disney heroines now the colours in this are fantastic. There's 50 colours. That's not the problem. The problem is the chart. No, oh well, there's two problems. The first is the chart. It is printed so small and even zoomed in on my phone, I cannot see it clearly, the symbols clearly. It is way too small. Um, and very, very, very difficult to see. Look, it looks, I'll take you close, and you, it's hard to see, like the power colours and everything. It's really difficult. That's not, the second problem is a big one too. And I worked on it here in the top corner. Yeah, that's fine. But the symbols are blurry and they've been printed over, some of them have been double printed. So you just cannot see. And it is so so hard to see this canvas and um, like if you look up here you can see even the colors are different look oh. Oh, my. Oh. like you can see the colors are different the symbols they've been overprinted now that wouldn't have bothered me so much if the chart was bigger so I could have gone, oh, okay, I'm not sure if this symbol, and I will look at the chart. So, while I like this design, I think this one needs to be printed on a much bigger chart. And I understand that occasionally the printing on the canvas isn't very good. I, I get that. But if you've got a pattern 
with a lot of colour changes, a lot of confetti, a lot of similar looking symbols, then you need a chart that you can read. And you just can't read this. It is too small and even zoomed in, because when you zoom in, it goes very blurry. It's just too small. So unfortunately, this beautiful design of the Disney heroines is going to be UFO'd, which means I'm going to throw away the canvas and keep the threads. Now, if you have this chart and this pattern, the printing on your pattern on, on the eight cloth could be really good. Could be fantastic and you probably won't have any problems. This is my issue with this. Um, now, and if you buy this chart later and you notice that the pattern has been printed bigger, can you let me know? So I can repurchase this chart because right now it's just doing my head in. So all I got was that little bit done and that little bit took me two hours because I was having to stop and check the symbols. I, it was doing my head in. So this one, unfortunately, it's going to be UFO. I need the pattern, the paper pattern, and the printing on the canvas to be printed a lot better. So that is a bit unfortunate because I was really enjoy going to enjoy working on this. But I guess you can't get them all good. So yeah, that's been my week. Mostly pretty good but there has been some disappointments. Now I'm going to go on my phone to what I'm working on this week. So let's have a look. The first thing I want to pick is a new start. So I'm going to spin my wheel. Joy Sunday so let's go I, I, I have everything's categorized so everything so let's go to my Joy Sunday wheel and see what my new start is going to be colorful cat two all right so colourful cat too and then I'm going to go into my cross stitch whips and I'm going to pick three to work on so let's remember Crazy Cat Lady, that's one. Night Cottage, that's two. And Halloween which that's three okay so I'm going to pause this and I will go get those projects and I will show you where I am and what they look like okay I'm back I have some projects 
The first one is what I call Crazy Cat Lady. She's on 14 count because obviously there's a lot of detail. Now, picture, I don't know, um, it's not very good, but she's basically a, a, a woman sitting on a chair with lots of cats. Um, as you can see, there's a lot of detail, and this is my progress. So I've done a little bit in the top corner, and down the background. Um, this one, I might just work, I'll start, I'll work on her face as well, I think, which will be around this bit here with the glasses. Um, this is going to be, this is stitched, 10 stitch, so it's four over one, four threads over one um, box. So yeah, so 14 count, so it will take me a little bit longer, but um, she's gorgeous. And she has, 35 colours, but um, a lot of detail, so that's why this one's on 14 count. So that's the first project for the week. Next project, the wheel spot, is what I call Halloween, which is this one. It's very pretty. And this is where it comes. This is my start in the corner. So this one, it's not much face or anything. So this one, I'm not sure. I'll work it out when I work on it. So yeah, I've just started in the corner. This one's stitched. Um, was stitched in full cross, but I will be converting this to 10 stitch, which is six strands over one. So that's Halloween Witch. That's project number two. Project number three is what I call Night Cottage. I can think of another name. design it's gorgeous it's so pretty and this is my progress on this one just in the corner you can see the tree starting to come out um this one I might look at working on the Cottage. I'm not sure. Oh, so itchy. Um, I'm not sure what I'm going to be working on on this one. Whether I just continue across and filling in. This one was stitched on. Yeah, no, this one's tent. So I just might continue working across in a four by four block. And whether ever the thread takes me, then I'll um keep stitching there's no faces or anything to focus on on this one so yeah this one will probably continue stitching from the top corner which is my preferred way of stitching anyway so that's project number three and the last project i'm going to be working on is a new start by joy sunday it's called Colourful Cat 2, uh, 11 count, and this one, I might start on one of the eyes, I think. The colours in this are gorgeous. So, I'm going to do this in... Tent stitch, it's full coverage. 
So I think I'm going to start work on the left eye. Work around the left eye, work on the eyes to start off with and then continue down. This is very pretty. It has 25 full colors. So yeah, those are my projects for this week. And yeah, so look to see a video, another floss tube next week. I try to do about once a week. It might be a couple of days late depending if I'm busy or got things on. So yeah, um, I want you to have a really good day and hopefully I get some of my packages in the mail so I can do some unboxings. Hopefully they arrive this week. Um, what else have I got planned for this week? I've got planned a stitch with me. Whichever one I'm working on when it's a stitch with me. Um, I'm going to do a drill with me. Done painting the drill with me this week as well. And any unboxings that come. So have a really good week. Look after yourselves. And um, yeah, I'll see you soon. Okay, bye.